beautiful Torians, Kim and Chow just here to do your Lionsgate portal for the 8th of August 2021 in the sun sign of Leo. So one of the luckiest times to manifest the Leo magic here, Taurus. And the Leo sun and the bright star Sirius will create an annual cosmic alignment, which is known as the Lionsgate portal. It will amplify even more intensely because of the new moon also taking place in Leo on the 8th. Now the Lionsgate portal is considered to be one of the most important events every year in the indigenous cultures. So Aboriginal Druids and ancient Egypt more so is why I've chosen the um, Egyptian Lenormand cards for the um, energies. So well, looking at the the uh, star Sirius, which is aligning with the Earth and coincides of Orion's belt. It also aligns perfectly with the, pyri uh, the Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, which is what opens the Lion's Gate portal. Now, the zodiac Leo sign, its energy is symbolised by the lion, which embodies the animal's courage, pride and regality. The sun is also Leo's ruling planet, which charges the Lionsgate portal and brings loads of creativity, confidence, enhances your solar power so you can step back into your power and it brings that spiritual window for all the zodiac signs to be able to set your intentions, to be able to embrace all the abundance that's coming through and helping you create a new beginning for yourself. Now the 8th of the 8th is considered the peak date of the Lionsgate portal and this energy will take place several weeks before the 8th and I think it's up to the 12th of August after the um, Lionsgate portal. Now also during the um, lunation of the moon it's going to align with the sun in Leo which is going to bring a fresh lunar cycle and it's going to help you bring your passions out bring them to the forefront they're going to be supercharged and going to be able to have the ability to start afresh again so starting over again is what I'm feeling now Leo is also connected with the number eight which is the infinity sign when it's turned upright which represents the unlimited potential that you can um, manifest during this time so I've chosen three spiritual cards from the Egyptian Lenormand and we're going to see how this is falling into place for you here Taurus. So we've got the tree which is representing your overall health and vitality, what state your health is in. It reveals karmic connections, unveils how strong your belief system is and entails your philosophies of life. It's also your spiritual life as a whole. So in Lenormand readings, it represents tribes uh, of all kinds, like um, Aboriginal tribes, Druids, Native American Indians, shamanism. Um, it's your spiritual path that involves nature. And um, tribes that um, worship the tree and get their messages from the trees. Now we have the heart that's fallen out for you with this card. So the heart may be uh, telling you you've got some heart issues. For some I feel like this may be about an old love that you've been patient with, with the tree and the heart together. Maybe it's a lasting affection that's been growing and it's strong with the tree. A strong relationship for others it could be an extended love affair a romance that has compassion for one another that's coming through now the second spiritual card I've chosen is the key which is about unlocking secrets it's about doors opening to what you wish for what your heart's desires are it's success it's in terms of spirituality, um, it is described as the higher overall universal divine energy. So spirit bringing you gifts and um, 
inter intervening in some way. So it's part of spirituality that is broad and intangible. It's also about your life lessons, spiritual breakthroughs, life purpose, and your connection to spirit world. It can also tell you if uh, an individual is part of your karmic life or a soulmate. So it's something that's familiar to you that you feel safe with. Now we're going to look at what you're activating around this time here, Taurus. So we've got the clover here and it's telling you it's time of synchronicity with the Lionsgate portal where you have some luck and positive times ahead. Now you may be taking on an opportunity which you feel is the easy way out well, you feel like this is a remarkable coincidence, but you also feel a need to express your excitement for this fantastic opportunity that's coming through. So that's great. That's beautiful. New opportunity coming through for you. Now, the third card is the cross or the gin pillar in the Egyptian Lenormand deck. Now, it is representing a place of uh, religion and um, it also indicates... Um, places of worship it is all types of religion and principles it's about you having faith and believing in that but it goes beyond the spiritual path and gets into your heart of the person's belief system so it is a place of worship so wherever you feel you want to um, meditate or pray or just have some quiet space. This is uh, your sacred space. Now um, we have the priestess that's coming through. Now you may be feeling with the um, Jed Pillar that you're tolerant at the moment and you, you're being faithful. You've been tolerant, you've waited maybe for this person and you've been faithful. So there's something happening here with a relationship, I feel. Now, you are a fixed earth sign and you have stability. You're looking for your life purpose and you've had a lot of endurance while you're waiting for this person. And you're going to get those tangible results. You're going to see the, comfort, the comforts of life here, Taurus. Now, know that restrictions come from you, from within you, is what spirit is telling you. But also know that success and good fortune's on the way. And you need to prepare for action and movement, is what Spirit's saying. Now we have a beautiful card from the Gratitude Oracle Guidebook, which is from Angela Hartfield. It's about imagination, so number three. So 21 is the number of this card, and it breaks down to a three. So in the Norman cards, it's about travel and movement. Now, there is a, uh, a boat here in this picture, which I feel like you're moving towards. But this is a beautiful gown woman. She's gave it, gazing over her shoulder. And the pond below her holds a gaggle of swans, lily pads, and a couple of row in a rowboat. Just down the bottom here. And a cherub sits on a grassy mound, so surrounded by, by flowers bursting with colours. Just down here, the cherub. And further behind the woman, there's images of people, children and, and a ship. There's children here, a ship. And the butterscotch colour of the woman's gown is uh, a prompt for someone who is usually shy to take action now, which is what spirits telling you to do get ready to take action and prepare for movement the swan reflects your ability to focus on your dreams and reminds you of the ideas balance and love that you've held in your mind and heart you've been faithful remember so the road boat is the vehicle to transport you on your life's journey there is work that is needed to grow 
and the water may not always be smooth but you have the fortitude to navigate your path now Taurus. The small cherub may be a reminder that love is always with you. So that's beautiful. So you are moving towards this person, maybe they're at a distance. Now this is about your vibrant imagination. It's about more than fantasizing and creating stories of people in faraway places. It is the origin of originality. It's about innovation. It's a vision that can be expressed through the art, literature or, or uh, science. But when you utilize your imagination, it's gonna enable you to think creatively and come up with a unique solution. Now, you, you can't force your mind to be imaginative, but if you're out of practice for using it, you can speak your imagination. Imagination can show up at the least of, um, when you least expect it. So, for instance, when you focus on something else and allow a problem to simmer in the back of your mind, this may be why you find imagination revving up when you're doing a routine task or you're washing dishes or having a shower, feeding the dog or talking or taking a walk in nature. So this is about you gratefully using your imagination to visualise and manifest your dreams here. So that's a beautiful um, reading for you. It's definitely about preparing to take action and movement. Maybe moving towards this love that uh, you've had a lot of passion and been faithful to. Maybe for a long time, maybe for the last five years. It's um, a strong relationship that is about um, growth. And um, the tree is... Uh, very grounded but takes a long time to manifest and you're coming out of that now you're having success and good fortune on the way and you're preparing for this action and movement to take place so that's beautiful uh taurus i hope it helps whoever it's gone uh, meant to go to please stay safe and um healthy love to you all bye for now